All right, hopefully this is not the worst quality. Fight! <laughs> Whatever. Instead of enriching a child's mind, these games Can we, teach a child for one second, talk about Senator Joseph Lieberman? Perhaps a bigger sellout than Ice T and Ice Cube combined? He ran as Al Gore's Democratic vice president in 2000. And like a couple years later was like hard Republican. Like hard. full switch after Bush got in. Full subby bottom. And I sure. respect it. For those who have not uh, seen these uh, so-called I'm Joe Lieberman. Before, Nobody likes me. <laughs> Uh, what we're talking about, what you're about to see, not a bigger sellout than John Cena. Let's be clear. Violent new video games. First, we have Mortal Kombat, which is a martial arts contest involving digitized characters. We're going to show two. But it's got a cool theme that goes da 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 what fresh out of satanic panic <laughs> and they're, they're just like on to the next one yeah late like, like, you got your late late 80s <laughs> satanic panic and, like, eh, and then Dungeons like and dragons it was is fine but it was let's, conclusively proved that that was bullshit yeah, and there were like zero new... satanic killings so what's our next dumb shit we have to get <laughs> mad at yeah america distance heads when a player wins, the so-called death sequence begins. The game narrator instructs... Um, only if they put in the correct button sequence. Opponent. You don't just auto-fatality, Joe. Jesus Christ. Murder, ranging from... Murder. A heart out. What's funny is that they say they're like, murder, but it's like... I don't know. There's a lot of movies and a lot of, like, pro-war propaganda movies that you're not... You know? <laughs> like, there's a lot of murder in war. The, there's other like, media that has murder. Yeah. To pulling off the head of the opponent with spinal cord attached. I love his second version. Made <laughs> the by kids I... are gonna rip out each other's spinal cords. They're gonna do. Pick. I seen one. I seen a kid do it. Nintendo leaves out the blood and decapitation, but as you will see, it is. I love his wimpy game. fucking voice. <laughs> Joe Lieberman, the noted game pussy. Is Night Trap, which is a game set in a sorority house. The object is to keep. It was not set in a sorority house. <laughs> okay, so we're, yeah, so we're already, we're we already, already have lying. <laughs> lies. <laughs> men from hanging the young woman. What? From a All right, let's see, let's hear him say that again. From hanging. Sorry. Sorority house, the object is to keep hooded men from hanging the young woman. No one got hung also. <laughs> so yeah, we're 0 for 2 on facts so far. Yeah. Sorority house and hanging women. Half of the sentence was correct. Like you have to keep you have to keep the hooded men from. Yes. The middle <laughs> part nailed it, Joe. But uh, the beginning and end or drilling their necks with a tool designed to drain their blood. Okay, fair. Night Accurate. Trap uses actual actors and achieves an unprecedented It uses actual actors damage. and they drained actual blood from women. <laughs> Night Trap uses actual actors and achieves an unprecedented level of realism. What is particularly troubling about unprecedented scene, realism uh, in this uh, film that, that we have an extract, extract of is a graphic depiction of the violence against women with uh, strong overtones of sexual violence. I find this segment deeply offensive and believe that it simply should be taken off the market. Thank you, Senator Cole. Well, the, the tapes are ready. Which you're I uh, you're calling Lieberman a boomer. I think Mortal he's actually Kombat one generation the, older uh, than a boomer because boomers second, uh, now look like Joe Lieberman, but Lieberman looks like this in the early '90s. Well, every boomer is old, and every millennial is young, <laughs> <laughs> right? So <laughs> that. That's Some people very got true. confused on definitions, They're, and it's uh, just stuck that yeah, way. Yeah, there so. definitely aren't 40-year-old millennials now. Regrettably, is a very brief, but nonetheless illustrative sequence from the Nintendo version. Go ahead. Oh, no. For a lot of you to see, but there's blood splattering every time. That's a lot of points. Good job.
The kids are just gonna do that now. That's objectively cool. You're a piece of shit, Joe. And this is a brief sequence from the Nintendo version. Where there's no blood, because Nintendo are cowards. Look, it's like sweat. Disgusting. Now, the difference there, as you can see, is that the that version does not have the, uh, the finishing sequences, the death sequences, and in fact... Wait, did Nintendo not even have fatalities? If they remove the blood, I guess, like... Yeah, Holy shit! And also not do that. The finishing sequences, the death sequences. Are you even fact, playing the game anymore at that point? Red blood spurting out. There's come. Well, there's some other. <laughs> yeah, now it's come. Yeah, Much better. Blood. Now we we'll go to the night trap. Uh, I like how he didn't even say what it was. Sequence. It doesn't look like blood. <laughs> <laughs> now let's go to the next sequence. I'm this doing nest did have fatalities apparently. Stock scream. No, that one was real. That's where it came from. Oh, she's undressing. <laughs> By taking off her jewelry. Yeah. Oh, I can see her whole neck now. I feel like that auger in the shower stall beating off. What's funny is, like, Psycho came out, like, what, the 60s? <laughs> uh, Psycho came out in, uh, 1996. Okay. This is, this is Gus just Van Sant, a, then Spawn. This is a less sexual, less violent version of that scene. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like, it's been a while. <laughs> but it's a video game, so it's, like, worse, because you can't tell that it's fake. <laughs> yeah. What's funny is, like, their level of understanding with video games, they probably think that the actors are being controlled by a jo joystick right now. They probably think, like, oh, oh, like, each of these actions is, like... <laughs> I love that, and you're probably yeah, right. 100%. Like, at this point oh, in time, they're... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. that's so good. Like, they probably think the player's, like, kidnapping her right now. <laughs> <sighs> I love Video, that. The graphics are so advanced. <laughs> <laughs> they got a pretty like good quality copy. Like this doesn't look anything. Which version of the game is it? I was gonna say was this there is a PC better than the Sega at the CD time or something maybe. I don't know. Zap. Or maybe this is they just got promotional footage from the game. Like I don't know. Ooh, the three DO. Good system. I'm more of a Neo Geo man myself. Disgusting! Disgusting! That green tablecloth is disgusting. Well, it's for uh, it's for green screen. So if they want to make the table look like something else, it's for the poker tournament. All right, let's uh, continue. We'd like to thank you all for being here today. In order that we can move the hearing on, I'm going to get cheated out of the vice presidency and then Senator go crazy. Outrage at the excerpts uh, that Herbert. We, uh, we will be viewing uh, on the TV. Mortal Kombat and Night Trap. All these motherfuckers the make me want to vote Republican. Parents give. <laughs> Night Trap, which adds yeah. <laughs> all these pussy ass Dems. It it is weird, <laughs> but like yeah, like. Especially, what, 1993? 1993 Democrats are <laughs> like, pretty yeah. conservative, especially. And, and 80s, because, like, 80s was all the Tipper Gore censoring shit. Yeah. Dimension of violence specifically targeted against Why the fuck did Tipper Gore get to do anything repugnant. in the 80s? Her husband didn't get to be vice entirely, president until later. Or at the very least, its most objectionable scenes should be removed. It has been quite a leap from Pac-Man to Night Trap. <laughs> About two months ago, I saw the video game Night Trap for the first time. It is a sick, disgusting video game, in my judgment. 
It's an effort to trap. In my judgment, video game expert. Trap and kill women. <laughs> it's an effort to trap and kill women. Okay, that's just objectively wrong. This is literally what Anita did with Hitman, <laughs> where she was like, <laughs> you're encouraged to do this, and it's like you see the point counter go down. It's like, okay. Yeah. Players are then invited to explore and exploit those situations during their playthrough. The player cannot help but treat these female bodies as things to be acted upon because they were designed, constructed, and placed in the environment for that singular purpose. <laughs> You're just misrepresenting the game. I mean, it is nice fun stuff. to do it, though. She's not wrong there. You're not, I don't know. You're not... Mo like in game monetarily yeah. encouraged to do like, it, but it's you're, fucking you're fun. You're incentivized to, to do it, but it's fun. The objective is to not have that happen, but the objective is also to have fun for the first time. I would love to see sick, one disgusting. Republican senator show up and call them all the F slur. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and to night trap. Uh, you guys are being B. <laughs> About two months ago, I saw the video game Night Trap for the first time. It is a sick, disgusting video game, in my judgment. It's an effort to trap and kill women. No! Shame on people. It's the opposite of that. that. It's child abuse, in my judgment. Child abuse, I, I like it. I Good buzzword. Who say, well, we sit up here as the thought police, trying to suggest what people can see or do. It's not my intention. We have some basic responsibility in this country to protect children. Think of the children, please. The classic. Dr. Provenzo? Yeah, every, every, I know that we're trying to make life worse for adults, but it's for the children's <laughs> sake. So anytime we yeah. do things that are bad for adults and say you can't do that, it's just think of the children. Think of the children. They rule all of us. Yeah. They're in control. <laughs> yeah. Children run the government. There are a couple of things. One is that a lot of people in the industry say that these things simply reflect what's in the culture. I think that by manufacturing games like Night Trap, what in point of fact these manufacturers are doing are endorsing that violence. And I think that's really objectionable. What? It's okay. Like so least, it's less violent than like every movie that came out in 1993. <laughs> like, like, is it is more it, violent than leagues, Terminator 2? It's leagues more tame. Yeah, like f ancient mi it's less violent than the birds. Like, let's just keep going back to early Hitchcock or yeah. some shit that these people probably like. <laughs> and also, w what's the point this guy is making? Because he says video game makers say they're just making what's reflected in the culture. They're like, no, it's the opposite. They're trying to make the culture violent by making violent yeah. video games. But he didn't. He barely even made that point. He's like, they they they're reflecting the culture, and I think that's bad. <laughs> I think he was saying, like, some people say they're reflecting the culture, okay. but actually it's the other way. And a woman since the day I was born. And let me tell you... And I'll Sorry, I've been a woman since the day I was born. I think that's really... This is, which is this actually is ahead of its true. time. <laughs> Objectionable. And a woman since the day I was born. And let me tell you, on all three, all my labels and all the hats I wear, I find that so extremely offensive. And the only word you can say to the manufacturer... I, is her credential just, a, I'm a woman? A woman? I believe it's her, cause, yeah. Because the, the, the entire Senate is just like filled with men. Yeah, I think she has, she's whatever, got a name it? tag that just says woman. That's so funny. Like, we brought a woman here today like, to tell you that she's offended by the portrayal she's, of women. She's not an expert. She's not a member of government. She's As a woman. A woman. <laughs> she also doesn't seem like a fun hang. Do you get that vibe? Hanging out? Yeah, hanging out. Would you I like don't to, know. Like, I don't know her. <laughs> I mean, I, I, feel like, is, I feel like I, I do know I her from this. I don't know if she's paid to say who this is. I don't know if she's just an actor, you know. It's shame on you. And I think that they really should um, stop and think about what they're doing. Okay. Marilyn Droz. <laughs> that last name. Nat, nat, natal? National? Yeah. That supposed natal. To be natal. It's for babies. Coalition of Television Violence. It's national. They could have just said TV to fit na the word national instead of television. <laughs> That's true. I mean, how would you like to have a teenage daughter go on? I would a date hate to have a teenage daughter just watched or played three hours of that game. Three hours? It shouldn't take three hours. Thank you. Uh, yeah, sir. fuck. <laughs> fucking losers who took three hours to beat that yeah. game. Would you want your daughter, your teenage daughter, dating that guy? Well, and thanks uh, to all the members of the... I like how she... I like how 
especially in 1993, like video games were so gendered anyway. Yeah. That she didn't say, imagine your teenage daughter playing this game. She's like, imagine your teenage daughter going on a date with a boy who's played the game. Well, no, girls weren't allowed to play <laughs> video games until 2013, 2014. So of the panel, uh, just to... Girls weren't allowed to, to play video games until uh, Life is Strange came now, out. Now, we're also re repelled, we were disgusted by this material, and yet it is a measure of uh, our values in this society that we resist the impulse to do what I think, uh, let me say for myself, I'd like to do. I'd like to be able to pass a law saying you can't produce this stuff anymore. We don't do that because we value Fuck. our freedoms. Fuck! I'd you. like to do that. Though. <laughs> I'd like to do that. It's unconstitutional, but yeah. I would fucking love to. Yeah, I like I like how much the times have changed in 1993. I'd like to do that, but our constitution says we shouldn't. And now it's just like, <laughs> I'd like to suppress voters, and we're just gonna and try. I think we're just and if we going can get away to? with it, we're just yeah. gonna do it. Like we're we're just gonna do whatever we can get away with, regardless of like what principle. There are no principles anymore. Yeah. <laughs> But with those rights that uh, the producers of, of video games, in this case, have also come responsibilities. And that's been the other, the part ah, to Spider -Man rights logic. in society. And I think what we're all saying is that we don't feel that this particular industry has uh, carried out those responsibilities in, in the way that they should. And now's the time to change. And He's trying to with, uh, really dance around the fact that, that he doesn't that the, 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 want them to have free speech. Even though that's supposedly something Democrats support, more, more than Republicans. Therefore, when, when I see uh, um, the, uh, the obvious sexual aggression against the woman in Night Trap, which... Kids, uh, sexual aggression. I think you read something uh, into that uh, I, that I we didn't see, that, Joe. Uh, we're not Are you okay, Joe? the gender uh, stereotypes we talked about in terms of skills, but we're... He's got a tiny hand. I'm sorry. Watch this. Oh, he's got a little baby the hand. Yeah. Look at his that baby does, hand. That doesn't uh, uh, yeah, fit I'm his body. That, uh, we're not only perpetuating There's a baby under there. The gender uh, <laughs> stereotypes we talked about in terms of skills, but we're running the risk <laughs> of increasing the probability that these boys who are playing it looks like a different person's hand <laughs> it's a different color <laughs> oh maybe they're they're doing that thing where like joe put his arms behind his back and then someone else <laughs> yeah. clearly smaller put their arms like through his armpits and they're doing a bit yeah what if it's just two people in a trench coat i love that uh, little babies these ryan styles is behind be him what a reference but see look you can see the person <laughs> they just oh! came in a frame it's their hand. It's Jeffrey Dahmer. Of course. See, like they just—they. I like how they just appeared when we said that. <laughs> probability like, look at this. These boys it knew. Who are playing, and uh, these games are going to be more aggressive. And <laughs> They're just staring at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that's a personal, non-sort of professional reaction. Is there anything in the literature it's or them. your experience, your studies, to suggest that that's true? And I think some of the stuff in, in terms of the type of thing you're saying here, I mean, look at the portrayal of the woman there in that, that the image from Night Trap. I mean, there are obviously sexual overtones operating. I mean, I beat off. Yeah. I thought you, I, I was moved by your statement, which is one that parents must all feel, which is they wouldn't want their uh, daughters going out with a, a, a boy who just <laughs> be playing. Uh, Let's be clear. This is a game for boys. <laughs> so you, uh, As all games are. You that uh, in your book, and I know you have in your book, uh, uh, state that video games are, are not only violent and uh, sexist, but they're also racist. Can you just briefly oh. give us a few examples? Let's talk about the racism in this sure. game. Um, in interviews with children. Uh, what yeah, not like movies. No, no, no. Time. No, <laughs> no racism in <laughs> yeah. 80s, we, we had early 90s that movies. In all other forms of media, I mean, but video games were the only places where you could find racism. Look, <laughs> in the heat and, of the night, sexism. came out in the 60s. Yeah, racism has been over since 1967. Yeah. Oh my god. What I found was that they talked about um, the ninjas as being bad. And then you asked them who the ninjas were, and they were sort of like the <laughs> and the Chinese. <laughs> and, um, it Fun. This is incredible. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> as as they uh, concern troll over races. <laughs> turns out I was born in the Asians, wrong time. Uh, any Asian as being extremely violent, um, as being dangerous, as being evil. As uh, inventing viruses. It, it's operating at a very basic level and, and, and at times simplistic. It carries over into other areas as well. There is depictions, I believe, although it's hard to prove, but my perception of homophobia operating, 
uh, in terms of how certain types of women are portrayed. Um, I think that there are also things about uh, race in terms of black and color issues. Where was the homophobia in Night Trap? I don't think there was a gay character <laughs> anywhere. Uh, Is he talking about Night Trap still? What's going on? No, I think he's getting more general, but also even that's a fallacy because we had also ended homophobia by 1993 as well. Mm. When did the YMCA come out? Like the 70s. Yeah, well, there we go. Yeah. Come on. That are Grow up, people. There. Um, they're subtle and they're hard to get at sometimes, but I think they present a rather disturbing world. Senator Dory. Uh, thank you very much. Um, oh, because vampires Rose, are gay. Uh, we have testimony that will be submitted later, some of which has already been submitted by Mr. Tom Zito. What a great us, uh, politician President haircut. Oh, I, I am here, oh, oh it's exactly like he said it. Oh, my God. Yeah. He's, okay, go go back. So I don't want to talk over it. Or he's like, actually, I am here. <laughs> yeah. Tom go, Zito go back. Is not with I, us. I am. Go back further. Fuck Even further. A little more. Some of which has little. already been submitted by Mr. Tom Zito, who's not with us. Um, President and CEO of Di I'm oh, sorry, Mr. Zito is here. I see. Okay, Mr. Zito has presented testimony. Uh, Mr. Zito says that... I'm here, I can say it myself. Night Trap was set out to create a spoof of vampire films. Fair. I like how stunlocked he is because he wasn't expecting yeah. him to be like huh. actually be. Huh. <laughs> the person he's like, he's like slowly processing it in his head. He's like, "What do I do? How do, do I, I do? handle do I do? this?" Vampire films. I'm gonna ignore him. Yeah, Mr. Guy eating boogers in the background too. I love. Yeah, he's my guy. Spoof of vampire films. In his mouth. Yep. <laughs> yes, get in there. Mm. Get in there. <laughs> Mr. White from Sega. USA. Sega, who will USA. The next panel says in five mitigating points he is so fucking thrown by tom zito being there oh the uh, fucking billy madison reference at the top very the nice controversial scene apparently the one we've just seen t -t 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 today seen junior before, is displayed only when the game player loses does that make you feel any better Oh, it makes me feel a lot better that if you're a loser, you're dead. No, it doesn't. What? That's how games it's work! It's not a real person! <laughs> that if you're losing, you're dead? What? I mean... What? Will you that, make... She just pulled that out of her ass. Will you make a judgment on this woman that already? A, that was the most insane response I've ever heard. <laughs> I couldn't... I was... To say that with such confidence is insane. <laughs> That's crazy. My God. She just made that up right there. She wasn't sure where she was going to go. She's a professional. But she had the confidence to just kind of like, we're doing it this way. <laughs> it, was, it was halfway out. She, she kept it going. I'm committing. Only when the game player loses. Thank you for the sub, Friday at Elm Street. Hey. Does that make you feel any better? Oh, it makes me feel a lot better that if you're a loser, you're dead. No, it doesn't. Um, we're dealing with self-esteem in here. There are <laughs> what? If you're Lover. bad, you lose and you're dead. <laughs> if you can't beat the game, then it makes you feel bad. Are we also banning board games at this point? Yeah, you can't lose. You're dead. What's Clue? Like, there's people that die in that game. There are. <laughs> like, yeah. Clue is about a murder. Before, like, the movie came out in the 80s. When did the board game come out? Like, 60s? I don't know, 1874, I believe. Yeah, okay. All right. Many magazines out on the market, like the several I brought in They're here They're calling today. Clue America's first These board game. These magazines are filled with game tips on how to play the game. There was a picture of Pac-Man on the back, too. <laughs> like, Yeah, but it was sexual. Yeah, every... It was Miss Pac-Man. Ooh, okay, with the no bow? Time at all, children become... Oops. ...winners and kill... These Sorry. magazines are filled with game tips on how to play the game. That in no time at all, children become winners and kill, and their kill ratio goes up. It tells them the secret codes and exactly what to do. They're Katie Raish. To become successful in murder. To, yeah, to become successful in real murder. I mean, like, look, you Okay, like, I look for tips anywhere I can get them. In a game of chess. Yep. You're trying to kill the king. Like, You're trying yeah, to commit regicide. Yeah, I mean, like, it's literally like the you you the the pieces that you have are representing 
characters that you kill. Yes. <laughs> like, it's... The- like oh no this is the first time this has happened like fuck off it's so crazy that like just old people whenever something new happens they're like no just no absolute panic and it's oh my god i fucking like i all i want to be able to do with my life is grow old and not be one of them wouldn't that be nice i mean it's it's not going to happen every generation it's never happened once but it would be nice eh, never once i mean not a one can't do it. Okay. There's nope. there's cool old people that exist right now. No, there aren't. Okay. By definition. Commander Sims at the beginning Except of me. Night Traps looks at you straight in the eye and he says, quote. I think that people can grow above their caveman brains and, you know, fight the urge to be like, well, it's different. So... <laughs> Am I scared? <laughs> right? I, I understand there's a powerful urge. I understand it's a very powerful it's, it's, urge. It's strong. It is innate to human beings. I think it... Yeah. I think it's because I'm so young. I, I, I see the baby. old and find them so unrelatable. But perhaps as I get older, perhaps even into, into my 30s one day, I'll, I'll maybe change my opinion that perhaps you can grow old gracefully and not like a total piece of shit. Hmm. But no promises. If you don't have the brains or guts for this mission, I'm still in the baby give zone. control to someone who does. That's what it says at the beginning of the game. If you don't have the brains or the guts for this assignment, give the controls to someone who give does. Give the controls to a boy. Head of the SWAT team. <laughs> or, excuse me, it's a scat. It's the Sega. <laughs> excuse me. Head of the SWAT team. Oh, excuse me, it's the scat. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, they're kitty cats. Or other, you know, SWAT team. They're SWAT cats. That's what it comes down to. So there's this sort of fascist military type with a, you know, police cap on looking at you and saying, mm. if you're not man enough to do this, forget it, you know? They're the fascists. Would you also, consider Night Trap uh, part of the military industrial complex propaganda? Also, it's like, dude, dude, yeah, like, it's an actor and you're supposed to, like, role, role you're play as the character. character. Like, yeah. you're... We're putting you on a special assignment. Like it's like the intro to every ride at Universal Studios. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like Florida. They're like uh, the characters of the Fast and Furious franchise need your help. If you're a baby, then you suck. <laughs> so yeah, be like I don't know. This is a no, no baby zone. You don't deserve to play this game. So obviously, it's not directed for the other half of the population. Well, obviously, the other half of the population, ladies. Oh, thank you, Sal. Thanks, Sal. This uh, Mr. Zito, Zito. In his testimony also says the only thing worse than a violent video game is, is a the woman. even more frightening suggestion of censorship. Okay. Yeah. Great. I yeah. understand his concern about censorship, <laughs> and I guess since in the third he raises years, a fair point, but counterpoint, Congress, fuck you. <laughs> that you will not find a congressional record that I've left that uh, represents a belief in censorship. I think. Uh, Censoring what people can say or see or do or think is uh, is a trail. It's a long, tortured, dangerous trail. Uh, I mean, this will this will be on the plays through channel, but it could also easily be a highlight. Uh, so I don't know exactly what the solution is. Dealer's choice. But I know that. Uh, I mean, it can be both. No. To those yes, pick, it can. pick a side. No. Those who produce Coward. night traps. It's fence sitters like you. Which is why we can't have video games anymore. Personal observation is I think it's pathetic and shameful that the conclusion of a game like that, a quote game. That's a unquote, grand bald spot is he to has. Drill into a woman's neck to grab a woman with a metal hook. I mean, I, I don't view that. It's as called a suck now. trap. <laughs> also, by this point, Stephen King had written child at the end of his book. <laughs> like. <laughs> Literally a child orgy. Yeah, like th- this. This is what has already happened in the timeline. Like, yeah, <laughs> this is the night trap is not <laughs> like a crazy thing that needs to be addressed in Congress. <laughs> night trap was the most shocking thing in our culture in 1993. Censor- I'm, I don't believe much in censorship, but oh, but moving down the road, you don't find how do we prevent children? From having access to that sort of glorification of violence by like censorship, Lieberman, a violence I think that uh, is directed all too often against women. 
In the past year, some very violent and offensive games have reached the market. Pac- mm. Pac-Man, Ms. Pac-Man, Pac-Man Jr. Combat and Night Trap. And let me say that for the record, I want to state that Night Trap will never appear on a Nintendo system. Until Thank 2018, you. motherfucker! Boo, 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 boo. Yeah, 25 years later. Fucking <laughs> liar, Dumb Howard bitch. Lincoln. Obviously, it would not pass our guidelines. This game, which as you've indicate, <laughs> Mr. Indicated Nintendo, the most you lie. Women simply has no. Liar. <laughs> no, thank you all, um, Mr. White. Um, l- l- let me begin with you, and I suppose Mr. Uh, White. Mr. Who? White is my color, not my name. <laughs> <laughs> Be more specific. In one sense, go to the, Would you call the that guy Mr. Black? I don't think uh, so. We saw the clip before from. Uh, Night trap with the woman. I'm more of a Mr. Pink. Ooh. I don't tip. <laughs> Being uh, attacked. Uh, and I said earlier that I thought that violence was gratuitous and uh, offensive. And <laughs> He reminds me of like Jacob's Ladder. <laughs> ought not to uh, be available to people in our society. Uh, Mr. Lincoln, just here a few moments ago, as vice president of uh, the other leading can, company okay. in this field. Can, and- can we pause for one second and make everyone who has ever called Joe Biden Sleepy Joe apologize? Because Lieberman is the Sleepy Joe of American politics. Come mm-hmm. on. Sleepy Joe needs a cup of Joe. Exactly. Nintendo said, and I quote, this game simply has no place... In our society. Until 2018. Uh, why don't you agree? Uh-oh. Why, why doesn't uh, Sega just pull Night Trap off the market? I think, uh, Senator, uh, with all due respect, the, the point I tried to make in, in my uh, oral arguments and testimony was that this industry is part of the interactive media industry. Stop pitting the Joes against each other. The children represent only a portion of the audience that we try to serve with our interactive software. Night Trap was developed specifically for an adult audience. Sega took a leadership position in establishing an independent rating council and appropriately labeled Night Trap MA-17 not appropriate for children. So Sega rated it themselves Themselves. before. Okay. And we believe just as you, as Congress has treated the, the motion picture industry, that we as an industry should have an opportunity to regulate ourselves, and believe that we've taken that first step this morning developing an industry-wide coalition okay so they they did that this morning because of the pressure i guess i guess industry rating system with enforcement it's so weird that in this that night trap and mortal Kombat are put on the same level of like notoriety and importance when like mortal Kombat was like kind of ubiquitous in like for anyone who knew anything about games and i i had not heard of night trap until yeah. yesterday which is why it's so funny the the interviews of the guys being like yeah the sales had kind of like slowed down to a crawl it didn't sell that well and then yeah. all this and then whoop! <laughs> whoops <laughs> now it's a hit. now it's a hit <laughs> to adopt an industry rating system with enforcement I must say that the exercise of responsibility, do you think it's uh, even appropriate Could you find me a pillow? pushing that stuff out there for adult audiences to use? I mean, pushing? <laughs> you you forced everyone to buy it. Yeah. You, you're a pusher. You put yeah, it onto I, everyone's iPhone no like No one does YouTube. things because they want to. No. You're pushing the, these things on people. It's a, it's the way in- no one has consent over the t- actions they take in their lives. I got that. Mm-mm, I got that. Goddamn. I'm your pusher, man. I'm your pusher, man. Which the, the woman is attacked. Chance I mean, clearly, it, she's dressed provocatively. She's uh, uh, brutally attacked by the uh, people dressed in dark clothes. There's that. Why, why even? You, you, you've mentioned a list of products that your company produces. A lot of them are great. Why? Why do you need to uh, go across that line? Why you gotta be like that? For why a bitch gotta lie? Kids? Let me make two points. Um, first, shut up. If you showed only the violent and gory scenes from out of context, consecutively, one after the other, from Roots or Gone with the Wind. Pause. Yeah. How the fuck did he pronounce? I know that first word. Roots. Can, can I get a? Can I get an instant replay on that, please? Text consecutively. One after the other from Roots or Roots. Gone with the Wind. Famous miniseries, Roots. Films. 
but in reality they aren't. And what you've done is picked a particular segment of that game. Let me clarify. A winning I, I like Bill White. Night Trap saves the women. Your job as the player is to identify the villains and to trap them. If you are a good player, you keep the villains from the women and men who are potential victims. This game is an appropriate game for adults that choose to entertain themselves in this way, shape, and form. If you're a bad player, what happens? If you're a bad player, what happens? Fuck. <laughs> that interrupt. If you're a bad player, what happens? Fuck you. <laughs> so funny. Absolutely fuck you. That's such a fucking douchebag. Like, what? This, this is just... It's so funny because they're actual children and they're like, but kids can't handle this. But they're, they've are they got the baby brains. Oh, <laughs> they're the ones with the baby brains. Some of the babiest brains I've ever <laughs> like, seen. Like, they're the people that can't handle this. Yeah. Fucking, you could give the game to like a five-year-old. It would be fine, you know? Like, fuck off. <laughs> if you're a bad player, you will see that scene. The woman gets... Also, the five-year-old would never even make it to like the... <laughs> they, <laughs> they wouldn't be able to... <laughs> I don't know, actually. It's a grown-up game. Kids these days are getting a lot better at video They're games. putting all the hormones in the milk. Mm-hmm. Attacked. The woman gets attacked. Going through puberty at five. Gonna... All right, I'm going to listen to this. You will see that scene. The woman gets attacked. The woman gets attacked. You're going to have a long way to go to convince me that uh, you're, you're raising anyone's uh, values or reducing anyone's inclination. By a long way to go, he means there's not a single thing market. in we, the we world you could say to change my already made up mind. Particularly aggression toward women by putting us on the market. Uh, we, we agree with much of what was said on the earlier panel. We believe that more research is necessary to conclude the effect that these games are having on both uh, mm. To conclude the effect that these games are having on both adults and children, the point well, why don't you we want to make is that to, until the research is done, if until the research is done, we feel it's an appropriate step to develop an industry-wide rating system which has enforcement that will allow adults, which represent 60% of the players for the Sega CD system, to make the choices to whether 60%. That that's almost right 12 right. players. My question is. Um, uh, I guess my point is that I appreciate the rating system that you... Yeah, like, fuck, yeah, a lot of horror movies had come... Like, just slashers Yes, were a huge part of, there like, the previous decade. There have been violent, decade. violent slashers since the 70s. Yeah. ...adopted, and I guess my question is, would you accept the responsibility to try to make sure that every link in the chain that Nintendo is involved in, such as the advertisements and the brochures that we've uh, discussed with Mr. White follows out your, your uh, carries out your desires with the rating system. Well, we'll certainly do that. Um, you know, the point that I'm making, Senator, is that the game ratings, does, it just doesn't go far enough. We have to get our hands on the game content. And we pussy. Nintendo's always been shit. Just <laughs> oh my god. Pussies and idiots oh, since day fuck one. Fuck you. We've been doing that, but like, like any other uh, system, it's not perfect. Bitch, Tendo. Let me make just a couple of other points. I can't sit here and allow you to be told that somehow the video game business has been transformed today. We have to only make games for babies. Nintendo. I mean, to their credit, they stuck to that. <laughs> yeah. From children to adults. It hasn't been, and Mr. White, who is a former Nintendo employee, knows the demographics as well as I do. Furthermore, I can't let you sit here. Yeah, he did do a savage pronunciation pronunciation of children. He did do a children. A children. <laughs> and by this nonsense that this Sega Night Trap game was somehow only meant for adults. I'm not the fact of the matter thing. is, this is a copy of the packaging. There was no rating on this game at all when the game was introduced. Small children bought this at Toys Children. That's a children, all right. As well as I do. When That's the children. Getting heat about this game, then they adopted the rating system and put ratings on it. But today, just as I'm sitting here, you can go into a Toys R Us store or a Walmart. Just trying or to Kmart, undercut Sega. And you know as well as I do you that dick. you can buy this product, and no one, certainly no sales clerk at retail, is going to challenge you. So the point I'm getting at is, putting these ratings on, if that's as far as we're going to go isn't going to get us anywhere. We've got to get further into this. And let me say... Nintendo sucks. <laughs> Nintendo, I'm so mad at Nintendo right now. ...say that I agree... 
Well, thank you. Thanks for your uh, forthrightness. Thanks for uh, assuming responsibility. I appreciate. I believe you've shown some leadership here. You're not perfect, as you've said, but you're. Uh, you've been a damn sight. Snitch ass Nintendo. Senator, make a comment, please. Today, um, Mr. Lincoln, on behalf of Nintendo, has accepted the idea of a rating system. They have previously been self-regulating more than you have. They chose not to produce Night Trap, and they have a clearly less violent version of Mortal Kombat out. You have a rating yeah, with system, come instead I've of blood. today heard you accept responsibility for regulating the content of your games more than you already are. In a typical video <coughs> arcade, I saw one before Thanksgiving uh, at the mall in Minneapolis. Dorgan. <laughs> Byron Dorgan is a Dorgan. great name for this man. Minneapolis, the largest mall, mall of America, I believe they call it. Uh, would you find Mortal Kombat, yes. Night Trap? You wouldn't find Night Trap, no, if to my I, knowledge. I've certainly never seen Night Trap out of commercial Would you find Sega's version of Mortal Kombat in that arcade? Well, in the coin-up, uh, Mortal Kombat is not put out by either Sega or Nintendo. It's put out by a Illinois company. Oh, is there any so shut up. Arcades? that you're aware of? I mean, uh, the, the reason I ask the question is I don't see a bunch of college sophomores crowding that arcade. I saw a bunch of kids playing video games. And the question is, if you've got... Yeah, teenagers don't play games. Babies do. ...playing video games, is there any basis for believing that uh, some of the more violent games are out of the reach of young children? In my judgment, no, not. No, absolutely not. Night Trap, as an example, is not a coin-op piece. It is not out in coin-op. If you look through the list of the pieces that are available for the home market and the children, the vast majority of those are not out in coin -op. Do you just say, well, here, we're going we're gonna to lay this on the market and let the buyer be aware? If some kid can get access to it, fine. I understand that when Night Trap was released... Stephen King's The Shining. Does, yeah, I mean, it, you don't have a rating system on books. <laughs> you, you can't ban a kid from buying, like, Mein Kampf. Yeah, under your current laws, I would it doesn't never apply to, ban a kid from buying my. Right, comp. it doesn't apply to. But you, you're letting children read child porn kids if you let know. them buy Stephen King's The Thing. Kids got to know about the struggle. Right? So, fuck you. East, it was not rated, and I might be wrong, but I understand that the first time you rated it, you rated it uh, at, at the 13 level. Is that no, not you're, correct? You're, you're wrong, Senator. I'm sorry. The, the rating system went into effect in June. It the thing? Sorry, it. That's what I meant. <laughs> did I say it last time? Or did I say the thing b both times? No, I feel like you said it. Or, okay, or else my brain is just like now automatically translating your nonsense into things that make no, sense. Yeah. yeah, it is it. It was rated for the first time and it was rated MA-17 and it was produced with that label on it from that point forward. With I said The Shining. I hope I didn't. <laughs> you, you, well, you definitely said that. You said The Shining once. Okay, Stephen King's it. Yeah. I feel like you said it once and the shining once. And I thought you meant the sh the shining when you said the shining. So what what did I say about the shining? I don't know. You're like in a fugue state. I, I it's yeah, hard to keep track I, of anything. It's rated MA17 <laughs> and it was produced with that label on it from that point forward. With respect to the question of the video arcade and the video <laughs> games in which <laughs> whatever. <laughs> A woman is grabbed by the neck with a hook and drilled in the neck with a tool and someone grabs the heart out of a character. We ought to have just as much concern about protecting our children Fuck against you. that sort of trash as we have in dozens of other areas in protecting our children. And I honestly, Mr. White, I, you know, I, I, I read your statement. And, is and our children learning? That you don't understand what we're talking about here. Let me tell you why. In your your final point about night. There's no point watching the longer version if we've. Uh, I'm not. We're because then we'd have to watch 26 is, minutes that we've already. I was gonna watched. say this, this is, is 26 fine. minutes. That's not long enough. Yeah. Really? We're fine. I think we're good. Thank you. You should have linked it first. <laughs> There's no way after we're already done this. Sorry. Trap. You say this. Finally, there is some research suggesting a short-term, momentary increase in playful, aggressive behavior after playing video games or watching violent television programs. Oh, who would want there playful, aggressive behavior? No research concluding that this has any lasting impact. Oh. In fact, quite the opposite is true, you say. Okay. Um, as you indicated earlier, I, I went into, uh, I didn't, one of my staff members this morning went into a Toys R Us on the way to work, and Night Trap... He was about was to right say that he did, and the then he remembered that would be too big a lie. Went into a I Toys like that. R Us on the way to work, and Night Trap is, is right there alongside the other 
uh, video games. That yeah, that's how selling games buy. works, asshole. Um, I mean, they ha yeah, they have a variety of books in the library that kids can buy. <laughs> yeah. I want to show you two examples that deal with uh, advertising. The first is this Toys R Us circular. Uh, and Not as, the circular. If you can see it. I think you'll see, uh, Mr. White, in that case, that the, the ratings on Mortal Kombat are... Um, are not visible. They've been covered over. Now, I know that's not your ad. You don't own, own Toys R Us, but I'm just trying to make the point of uh, how important it is if, if you're really going to rely on That looks on more like a square than a circle. ...to follow that through the chain. Second, we've got this uh, ad for Lethal Enforcer that uh, Senator Cole has pointed to before. Oh, lethal Enforcer. Um, and the rating, which is on your package, is effectively... Uh, it's not visible. The, the, the carton is raised in such a way that it's covered it up. And, of course, apart from that, and you'd have to look for it, I mean, one other exercise of responsibility here would have been simply to have had a, a mark somewhere. Oh, no, the, the, the giant picture of the gun was not enough to inform the parents <laughs> that it's a mature... That it has guns. Yeah, like, a gun would be fine if it's a gun game for children. Yeah. America. <laughs> Or else they're saying, uh, this is MA-17, this shouldn't be uh, bought or used by... My ass, under the age 17. Of 17. Final question for Mr. White and the panel. Um, in your guidelines, you say that you're not going to uh, approve products which contain material that denigrates any ethnic, racial, sexual, or religious group. Obviously, I think that uh, Night Trap denigrates uh, a sexual group, namely women. The gays. Women are a sexual group, am I right? Uh, a, a highly <laughs> sexual group, if you ask me. That was crazy. One of the most sexual groups. That was nuts. Hey guys, it's October 2022. Here are the Patreon credits for this month. Easy Game 69 Sam McKenney, Nico Fuentes, Ryan, Joel999, Melly, Riggle Moss, Speak of the Joker, Possum Physics, Orange Juice Slurper, Black Mama 1993, Yup Yup Yup, Caden Mack, Charisma, The Super One Player, Zachary Kane, Chi.exe, Gothic Sith, Mandel Bro, Wales, Bo the Doggo, Gabriel Herrera, Hoofido, and Lemonade Warrior is participating in the hit video game Among Us and is considered the encroacher. Thanks for watching the video and enjoy Spooky Month.